Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Today's review is Marc Jacobs' Perfect Elixir. This is the newest fragrance release from the house and a flanker of Perfect. And so the notes in the top are honey, plum, and rhubarb. The middle notes are orange blossom and amber, and the base notes are patchouli, vanilla, and resin. So this is an elixir, so you would assume that it would be elixir strength it would be super strong however when i wore this on skin and when i was testing it it wasn't really that strong on me it was actually something that came off light and sweet and not really like an elixir but i'm not really surprised it does happen very often nowadays probably just a marketing thing but anyway what does this one smell like the opening is nice. It's a creamy, fruity, citrus scent in the opening. In the front, we have that creamy fruit, and behind that, we have a nice tangy citrus. There aren't any citrus notes listed in here. Um, in the top, it's honey, plum, and rhubarb. Uh, but for me, it was like a mixed fruit bowl, which is really nice, very pleasant, very mass appealing. I think most people would enjoy this nice, fresh, sweet, creamy fruit scent. Also, right away, I smell something that reminds me of the original Perfect. There's an accord in Perfect that runs through all of the flankers, and it's also in this one. So it has like something that's kind of familiar already. There's some sweetness in here, but I don't find it to be overly sweet or, or overwhelming. It's a very nice, soft, creamy, fruity, milky scent. Uh, there aren't any milky notes in here though, but that's what I smelled on skin when I wore it. So in the dry down, the florals are more prominent. Uh, the florals in here are orange blossom. Uh, I think that's the only one. Yeah, just orange blossom. Uh, but it comes off also a very creamy floral scent. Not as fruity or as sweet as it was in the opening. Mostly a creamy floral scent. And also there's a musk scent in here too that is familiar because I smell also a musky accord in the other versions of perfect so a clean fruity musk along with a creamy uh, milky floral scent the orange blossom so yeah i don't really have anything bad to say about this one it's a nice pleasant crowd pleasing kind of scent if you wanted to gift a perfume to someone uh, they would probably enjoy this, I think. It's inoffensive, versatile, uh, good for every day, for all occasions, um, easy to wear, not too heavy or cloying, but a nice, a nice soft and pretty, fruity, floral, creamy musk scent. And again, it's perfect elixir, but on me it just wasn't that strong at all. It was a skin scent after not too long but it did last quite some hours uh, but yeah I think I think it's all right it's it's nice yeah I think it's nice but probably not something I would wear for myself I would reach for other scents in my collection before this one I don't even think I own any more Marc Jacobs scents um, I used to own one of the Daisy Flankers and also Decadence, which was discontinued now, unfortunately, and also the Oso oh Decadent I really like, which is, was also discontinued. Um, anyways, uh, back to this perfect elixir. Uh, it's decent. The bottle is super cute as well. Wearable and pleasant. <laughs> so that was my quick review of Perfect Elixir from Marc Jacobs. If you've tried it, I would love to hear what you think of it down in the comments, uh, which is your favorite version of Perfect or your favorite uh, Marc Jacobs scent. I would love to hear about that as well. Thanks so much for tuning in today and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.